The thing about thoughts is they fall into two categories. And the first category is unintentional, unconscious thinking. This is most people's standard mode of operating. We think whatever pops into our head. We follow any train of thought that occurs to us. Oftentimes these thoughts are negative, critical, judgmental. They are damaging to our happiness and they are often repetitive, incessant, nonstop and very unthoughtful. They are not the best use of our time and our mind. The second kind of thoughts we have are intentional and conscious. For most people, we know these as mantras. And we use our minds for this kind of thinking about 1% of the time, very rarely. Some people don't at all guide their mind and their thoughts. So when we have an intentional thought, when we tell ourselves something to build ourselves up or tell ourselves something positive to make ourselves relax and be present, we don't believe these thoughts because they are unfamiliar. So they're coming from our intention, which feels like a stranger to us. And it is those negative thoughts, those unconscious thoughts that pop into our head out of nowhere that are always fear-based. And these are our familiar friends. These are our usual thoughts and our usual mindset that has become familiar, that we depend on and rely upon because the ego creates this fear that we need it. So the ego wants to be large and inflated in order to feel important, but then we paint a target on our backs that is large as our ego and that hurts and wounds and deflates at the slightest little negative criticism. But the fact is we don't need that ego. We can trust ourselves that in a moment we will know the wise action, that we will know the correct choices that each moment calls for. So what we have to do is get into our subconscious, this new mode of thinking, and to create this conscious, intentional mindset as second nature, as a habit, so that those negative, critical, judgmental, egoic thoughts can become that new stranger who we're not so sure we want to take on <laughs> and believe those negative thoughts. The way we do that is a very powerful meditation that I call the pot meditation. The PO stands for positive and the T stands for thinking. And this is a positive thinking meditation. And the way we do it is just like in our normal meditation, whether we are focusing on a breath or a mantra, after a few minutes, of letting our body and mind settle down, we start to intentionally and consciously think positive thoughts. Now, these aren't delusional thoughts. We're not lying to ourselves. We are not creating wishful thinking, which only magnifies that gap between reality and what we wish to have. But these are true positive thoughts that help us build a habit of seeing the positive in our daily life and looking on the bright side as second nature so that all we focus on becomes positivity and love. So these kind of thoughts will be, I am achieving my dreams. I am reaching my goals. I am becoming better today than I was yesterday. People, love me. And so as you see with these statements, they are all true. I love you. 
if it feels like no one else does. And we are getting closer to our destiny. Every moment we are getting closer to our fate and our ultimate potential. There is no going backwards. There is only progress, change, and lessons. So give this a try. Be sure to notice how that unconscious egoic mind slips in and says, hey, no, people don't love me. No, I'm not achieving my goals. What about this? And get wise to what triggers that egoic energy to rise up and recognize how it tries to hijack our mind from our higher intention, our highest self. Just witness it, let it go, and then say that last positive thought again to your mind silently and keep doing that. Keep noticing the nature of that egoic, unconscious, unintentional mind and notice how throughout the day and throughout your life, seeing the positive and choosing to put your attention there will open up your entire life to great things to come.